Thanks for stopping back by Just Piddling Barbecue. Uh, if you like what you see on my channel, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and hit the subscribe button down below, please. Um, today, we're going to be doing some salmon. We're going to be doing cedar plank salmon on the uh, Gorilla Silverback pellet grill. Um, and today, we're going to be using a local barbecue sauce as a glaze uh, for the salmon. So I'm going to show you how to do all that. Stick around. <laughs> So what I've got here is I've got a two pound salmon filet and we're going to cook it on a cedar plank today and we're going to be using fire and flavor cedar planks. Now this is not what I'm going to be using. I've got one soaking over there. It's been soaking for about an hour. You want to soak them just so they don't burn or scorch uh, when you put them on. So I've had that one soaking for about an hour now. Um, but that's what we're going to be using for the salmon filet. <clears throat> now as far as the filet itself. There's several different ways that uh, you can do it. You can go ahead and take the skin off or you can leave the skin on. I've done it both ways. And in my opinion, there's really not much difference, um, but it, it's easier for me if I leave the skin on and then after it's cooked, the uh, meat comes right off the skin very easily. So that's what I'm gonna do. Also, we're gonna be glazing it with a muscadine barbecue sauce. Now this is from a local winery here, uh, Watermelon Creek Vineyards, and they have a muscadine vineyard. And so uh, I've tried this before and this is great stuff. And I thought it would pair well with this uh, salmon filet. And so towards the end, we're gonna be glazing it with this muscadine barbecue sauce. <clears throat> All right, the first thing I'm gonna do with the filet, like I say, it's a two pound filet pretty good size. Now there was a thinner part down here at the bottom that I trimmed off just because it was really so thin that it was going to cook way uneven and that would be a lot drier than the rest of the filet. So I just trimmed it off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it about three portions. So probably there and there. So now that I've got it marked, I'm going to go back in almost to the skin. And what that's gonna do, <clears throat> you could go ahead and cut it all the way through in three different portions, but then the insides of those portions are gonna be exposed to the heat and cause it to dry out a little bit. And I want this thing to be as moist as possible. But I have scored it, but because it's still on the skin, it's gonna keep everything together and keep everything moist inside. Plus that's gonna give me a little bit of area to uh, add some more seasonings to the filet. So now that I've scored it some, when it's done, I can just go ahead and cut all the way through. If I don't score it at all and I just leave this whole thing whole, when it's done, if it gets too done and it's really flaky, when you go to start to cut through it, it's just kind of kind of fall apart. And this is gonna prevent it from doing that. So now I've got a little bit of melted butter here and I'm just going to kind of brush it with this melted butter a little bit. And the melted butter is gonna help it, uh, help some of this seasoning stick, give it something to bind to. And it's gonna cause it to have a, a pretty good color there at the end along with the glaze. And let some of that butter get down in those creases right there as well. All right, now that we've got our butter on, all we're going to do is go in with some Jacobson Salt Company smoked salt, a little bit over the top. And we'll go in with a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. And that's really going to be it. Now in those crevices, I've got some fresh rosemary and I'm just going to open those up and slide that rosemary in there and then that'll give it a nice extra bit of aromatics in with the filet just like that. 
All right, now I need to go get the grill up to temperature. And as soon as we do that, we'll get the uh, filet on. All right, we're out here at the Silverback. It's been going probably about 30 minutes. I got the vegetables on already. Um, and I've got it set at 300 degrees. And now we're going to uh, open it up. And we're going to get the cedar plank on and let it start heating up. And we're putting it front side down uh, so that it can start heating up and also so it can uh, get a little char on it but it's also going to kill any pathogens that might be um, any pathogens or bacteria that are going to be uh, on it so we'll come back in about five minutes All right, our cedar plank's been on for about five minutes or so, five or six minutes. I'm fixing to uh, open up the lid, flip it, our uh, cedar plank over, and then get our salmon on it, close it up, and uh, let it start cooking. Now what I'm using today is Grilla Grill's uh, competition blend pellets. It's oak, hickory, and cherry. And I'm using that blend because it's not really gonna be on here very long. You could use a pecan or something like that. Uh, but I really want it to get a chance to get a little bit more smoke and using an oak, hickory, and cherry blend is gonna help me accomplish that. So let's open it up, flip the plank over, get our salmon on, and uh, get it started cooking. As you can see, we've got a little char on it, little grill marks. Right in the middle of the grill. And there we go. Now we're ready to get it cooking. All right, the salmon's been on about 20 minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and put a little glaze on it. And this is the glaze that I was telling you about. It's muscadine barbecue sauce from Watermelon Creek Vineyards in Glenville, Georgia. Excellent wines, uh, pepper jellies, honey, barbecue sauces, all this stuff. This stuff is outstanding. Get you down here so you can see a little bit. I can smell that, that salmon rosemary all right now we're gonna let it go for about maybe 10 more minutes I'm gonna go ahead and take these vegetables off sure they are done. And that salmon is looking good. The glaze is tacking up. That's going to be good. Show you what we've got in here. 
we have got some steamed zucchini, squash, onions with a little oregano, olive oil, and Kariba Q lemon garlic. That ought to pair well. All right, guys, time to take it off. All right, guys, I just got the salmon off and I uh, got everything plated up. I've got some squash, zucchini, onions that I just put in a foil pack, cover with some olive oil and put some Kariba Q's lemon and garlic uh, seasoning on it. Um, just made a little simple salad to go along with it. And uh, we've got our muscadine barbecue sauce glaze on our, uh, on our salmon filet. Now let's check it, see how we did. Very flaky, very moist. You get the salmon, a little bit of the smoke from the cedar plank, but the sweetness from that muscadine barbecue sauce really comes through. And that's what I was looking for. This isn't hard, doesn't take very long, so give it a try. Till next time, I'll be piddling.